Guys, check out this super. Just put this on a week and a half ago. And that outside board is bowed. There was a lot more traffic over here earlier. See, they're defending themselves from a little... I don't know what type of little bee that is. It almost looks like little pieces of pollen sitting out there in the board. I'm not sure. Okay, let's break into the car Carniolans and see uh, how they're doing. This is the one uh, a week and a half ago I... I changed the uh, change into a tent frame. Also put a super up on top just to give them some extra room. Not really for honey, but just kind of give them room to be in. I was afraid that maybe they might start to swarm. Well, looks like there's some nectar in that being stored in there. Looks like the queen come up and laid a little bit. Take another one out here. See what's going on. Still early for supers, but heck, why not? Go ahead and put it on there, right? Yeah, she's laying. So yeah, queen did come up here and lay. I knew there was gonna be a little chance of that, but I wasn't worried. It's fine. Yep, this one's, uh, you know, full. You got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, so good call moving this into a 10 frame. They're actually starting to fill it up. I do want to get that burr comb off of there. You get a little bit of smoke. They've been pretty gentle so far. No, don't want the extra comb on top of the frames. Mm -hmm. well, still honey frame on the outside. bit of brood. Mm. Look at the brood in that corner. I don't really see any eggs down in there. A little bit bigger brood there. A little bit of drone brood in there. A lot of drone brood on that side. Yeah, got eggs down in here and some larvae and some brood. Same on that side. A little bit deeper in the center. Brood, got larvae. It's a freshly hatched drone. You can see if it's big old eyes. And... Spin this around here. You can see down in there, you can see larvae and eggs, so yeah, she's refilling that back up. So that's good. This next frame looks like it's got a lot of drone brood on it. Let's pull it out and take a look.
Well, they're just starting to fill that out a little bit. There was a extra frame I put in. You have some extra drone in there. Larvae, eggs. Yep, so she already filled that in, so that's good. Gave her some extra space. Yep, that's all full. Eggs, larvae, and capped brood. No type of cells, or I mean, no type of eggs, or a little jelly in those bottom. That's not a problem. Okay, gonna get into my second carniolan hive. This one's still an eight frame. Put a super on it as well. Looks like something might have happened to that box. Might be. This is a spider. Box is brew Boeing. I'm gonna change out. Have to change out that super box. Look at that. Wow. Okay, let's get down in here to the box. Just go on. Bee bread being brought in, or being made there. A little bit of brood. There, and some larvae and eggs. That's a second frame in. Yeah, lots of brood. Got some drone brood down there at the bottom. Yeah, lots of brood there. Larvae eggs. Same there, brood. Yeah, still lots of brood, drain brood at the bottom. Yep, looking good. Okay, seen everything there. I pretty much needed to, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. Guys, check out this super. Just put this on a week and a half ago. And that outside board is bowed. Look at that. Although I've had that for a little while, so I probably, uh, this is probably one of the very first ones. So I probably didn't use any glue or anything like that. Let's get that replaced. Okay, so I'm just going to replace these. I'm just going to take these out of this super and put this in the next super. Yeah, so when I first started like three years ago, I didn't really use glue on my boxes. I never really thought about it. No one really said anything to me. Um, and, you know, I just nailed them with the nails that came. 
gave him a coat of whatever white paint I had. I think it was like barn and fence paint. Now I ended up getting me a um, like a staple gun. I put them together as staples. And this part right here is another good uh, thing that I, I do now when I put the boxes together. There's no pre-drilled hole here, but I always put another staple in this little lip part. Um, of course, I glue mine together now. Okay, yeah, that's crazy. All bowed out. Yep, we're going to take that apart. See if I can fix it. I definitely recommend um, doing something other than just regular nails. Definitely uh, glue. Uh, if you don't want to use glue, um, I guess screws would probably be a little bit better than nails. Okay, Carniolans, both uh, looking good. But the uh, front entrance looking pretty busy here at the moment. Oh, it looks like I might have squashed a couple bees. But yeah, definitely a big difference between these hives and the Italian hives over there. Have any comments or any tips or whatever, leave them in the comments for me. Thank you guys for watching.